Hey guys, it's Rebecca at Yarn and Pajamas, and I'm coming to you today with a different kind of video than I've done before. So I wanted um, to share with you guys and to show you guys um, something I'm really, really excited about. And I saw it a couple of weeks ago when I was perusing around on a website called Stitch Naturally, which is generally where I buy most of my Katona yarns that I use when I make my Am and Groomies. So I was perusing around on there and I came across a kit that Shep Cheese had released and it was um, their Zodiac kit. So I ordered it and it has arrived. It's right here. I cut it open so that I wouldn't have to go through all of that on screen. But I wanted to um, look at it with you guys and share it with you. So I ordered it. So let's go through everything here. So first of all, this video is not sponsored. Everything that I bought, I paid for myself. Um, so any links that are down below are just for your ease of um, finding things along the way if you want to look at them. So I bought this at Stitch Naturally. And... Um, they have, it's like free shipping if your order is over $100. So, um, the kit itself was $89. And then there was some other yarns that I um, wanted. So, I went ahead and bought it. And my total was like $102 or something. So, I got the free shipping, which is the first time that I've ever gotten free shipping there. Because I don't generally just order like maybe like 40 bucks of yarn at one time but so I got this right here and so it comes with everything that you need to make all of the characters so I added all of the prices up for everything that's in here and it was well over the $89 that I paid for it so Stitch Naturally is sold out, and I don't know if they will be getting any more, but I will leave their link down below if anybody wants to check and see. And I also did, um, at the time of filming this, I looked around and I found some listings on Etsy. So one of the listings that I'm going to link down below is um, for the same exact kit that I have. And then on, in her store, she also actually has another kit that is a little bit more expensive, but she's added on um, two items that doesn't come with the kit. So she's added on the hook size that you need and the stuffing. So this kit that I have does not come with a hook and it does not come with the innards. It doesn't come with the stuffing. The polyfill, I think is what it's called. But it comes with all of the yarn and all of the patterns. And the patterns alone. I mean, so you're getting 12 patterns. Actually, I think it's more because some of the times there's like two. Like the one of them is like the twins or whatever. So there'll be two there. And then the fish ones are two, I believe. So you'll get like two patterns in some of them so i think it says let's just read here instead of me just guessing so here's the box after i smack myself in the head with it so I'm trying to put it back together here is the box and there's all the little lovies that come with it i got a, sorry i got a hair in my mouth <laughs> that's gonna drive me crazy it's like it's sad egg so there's all of the lovies it's the chef cheese Zodiac crochet kit and it is designed by and I cannot say her name but her first name is or his I don't know if it's a female or a male or a they I don't know so um the first name is K-H-U-C and the last name is C-A-J so I believe it's being hosted by Simply Crochet because their logo is down there as well. And that's a magazine, I believe. 
So what you get with this is 23 balls of Katona in the 50 gram weight, five balls of the Katona in the five 25 gram weight, and 12 balls of the Katona in the 10 gram weight. You get one ball of Maxi Sweet Treat, which is 25 grams, and I've never, never seen that before. I'm pretty excited. You get one metal ring, and then you get um, enough safety eyes for all of them. So that's 26, so that's 30 safety eyes, is that right? 10, 16, and four, is that 30? My math is not very good. And then you get one calendar with the patterns for all of the 12 zodiacs. So what do you say that we open this little booger up and see what's inside. So I'm gonna hold it up here and we're gonna open it up Mad Mimi style. Mad Mimi's crochet and farming. But see, Mad Mimi lets you guys, lets us look first, I guess. And I'm being not letting us look first because I wanna see it too. So here's the calendar. And there is all of that yarny goodness. Look at it. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll set this down and we'll look at that in just a minute. So here is the calendar. Look at that. So you get 15 characters. So that's right, 30 eyes, two to the thing. Here's the back of it. So it looks like it's showing all of the things, all of the little babies. They're so cute. Okay, so we're just gonna go into it and look at everybody. So here is Capricorn for January. And there is a little circle over here that it looks like it gives you a What's that thing called? A horoscope? Let's just read it for all of you Capricorns out there. It says, take on a tricky cardigan pattern in 2021. And with your disciplined approach, you will be rewarded with a beautiful end result. Hook it up with some classic shades and it'll go with everything. It's a very practical. So, and then on down here, it's got little things like, it says stash. So, a Capricorn stash is luxurious, minimalist, and organized. Those Capricorns always got to be organized. A Capricorn's favorite color scheme is a monochrome two-tone. Um, their favorite stitch is the complicated cables. They like those cable stitches, apparently. And their crochet style, the Capricorn crochet style, is the most likely to actually finish hooking a king-size bedspread. And I'm totally not a Capricorn <laughs> because I would not be likely to finish. So that's what you will get, a little, a little blurb there. So let's move on to February. And what is February? They are the Aquarius. Look at that little baby otter. What's it holding? Like a bucket of fish? You think that do otter is to eat fish? I don't know. I don't know. So let's move on to March. The Pisces. The little fishies. Look how cute they are. So fat. I love them. So April is the Aries. So is that a lamb? What is Aries? Oh, it's a ram. Those are little horns. Look how cute. 
Oh, it wants to headbutt you, but its little horns are curly. It's a good ram. It's not going to headbutt any. Oh, look at its little belly patch. Mm. Okay, here is the Taurus. This is me. This is my sign. Oh, that must be the metal ring. Look at it. It's a little bull ring in its nose. My birthday is right here on May the 6th. So, I'm a Taurus. I love his little belly patch, too. He's very cute. The Gemini twins, June. Look at them. Do you think they're little monkeys? Look at their tail. Look at his tail. So, July is Cancer. And look at the little crab. Oh, his little claw. One is bigger than the other? Is that normal on crabs? I don't know. Then we have the lion, the Leo lion for August. Seems like all of their belly patches are the same with the little speckles of color. Hopefully you can see that. My lighting as per usual is not that great. September is Virgo. Looks like a bear. Is that Virgo's sign animal? A bear? I don't know. I'm not very, I'm not into um, astrology all that much. I mean, I know, like, I know that I'm a Taurus or whatever, but I just thought all the animals were cute. Oh, the, oh my God. Libra for October. Look at those baby fat bunnies. I want to squish those bunnies. So, um, Libras are bunnies. How fun. November. Look at him. The Scorpio. Is that right? Scorpio. Scorpion. He kind of looks like he's got, his face looks like an ant from like, um, the movie Ants. I feel funny like I'm I'm trying to get in the scene or something. And then December is a Sagittarius. Look at the wise owl. Isn't she so cute? I assume she's a she because she's pink. But I so should not assume, should I? And then I'm going to assume that the rest of the book, the calendar, are the patterns. I don't want to show those, and yes, I am right. Oh my God, these are so cute. I just cannot stand it, cannot stand it. Oh my God, I've talked for 13 minutes about the calendar. So we're gonna to have to fly through this yarn. I am so, so sorry. This is gonna be quite a long video. So it says we get some, I'll show you guys the difference between the balls starting out. So this is a 50 gram ball. And this is the 25 gram ball. I hear Bitsy from next door barking. She wants them in the house. And these are the 10 gram balls. So that's the difference. These are the ones that you can buy from Hobby Lobby that comes in the big pack, the box that is 109 of them. I think they call them cutie pies. Those are the ones. Okay, so we have, this one is number 528 silver blue. Looks like we have two of the 507 and this is chocolate. I wish you guys could feel it. Do um, do any of you guys use Katona cotton in your um, amigurumis or just making like blankets or whatever? You know, I believe I told you guys that, you know, I done it because I got those, the pack from, that's how I found them. I got the pack from Hobby Lobby. And then I just kind of fell in love with it from there. And then I started getting it from other places. So we have number 505 
linen. Number 504, brick red. Ooh, these kind of look the same, but they're not. 502, camel. And then this is number 414, vintage peach. Dun, 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 dun. 408, old rose. It's a very pretty, very pretty. And you know, this, the Katona has kind of like a little sheen to it. Just, you know, very slight, nothing, you know, major. So we have 406, soft beige. It's kind of like a grayish, got a grayish tone to it as well. Oh, look, there's another old rose, number 408. So there were two of those. So we have 404, English tea, which is like a very light tan, very light. Number 403, oh my leg is itching, lemonade. We have number 401, dark teal, that's very pretty. Number 402, silver green. It's also very pretty. We have number 388, rust. And number 398, colonial rose. This is one of my favorite of the pinks that they have. Let me shove these all back in here. I was trying to like show all of the same sizes at one time. I don't know if that's gonna work. So we have number 392, lime juice. It's not really showing up the right color. It's a very muted, muted green. Number 257, Antique Mauve. We have number 101, Candlelight. And it is a very, it looks, it's showing up off-white, but it's got like a yellow tone to it. We have number 130, Old Lace. It's one of my favorite ones. I use it a lot in my amigurumis. Um, let's see. This is number 106, Snow White, and it's a very crisp white. And then you get three of the number 105s, and it's a bridal white, and it's just like an off-white from the Snow White. Let's get all these cutie pies. That was um, one more than what I should have had. That was 26. So, I have 26 of the 50 grams, and I should have that 26 no that was 25 is that right is that right one two three four five six seven eight ten eleven so 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 22 23 24 see i'm told you my math is off and i should have only had 23 but i only have four of these and i should have had five so i'm gonna assume that one of these colors that comes in the 25 gram balls, they gave me in a 50 gram ball, so they probably just ran out. So in the 25 gram balls, I got 238 powder pink. It's a very light pink. 
number 387, Dark Olive. And you know, I was looking at this because I ordered some not too long ago of this. And it looks totally brown to me. Like, I don't really see the green in it for the olive. So maybe I'm just not seeing it. Here's one of my favorite colors too. Number 253, Tropic. And then the last one in the 25 gram is number 240, Amethyst. Very pretty purple. Okay, so in the 10 gram balls, we've got 391, Deep Ocean Green. We've got 396 Rose Wine. Number 394 Shadow Purple. Number 173 Bluebell. And that is the color that I use in one of my um, um, finish or whips that I made. This is icy pink, and that's blue bell. Go really well together. Um, two fifty one garden rose. Three eighty four powder blue. Two fifty five shell. It's a very like nude color. Um, uh -huh. I dropped one. Sorry. Oh, number 385. I really like this name, Crystalline. Don't it look crystalline? I'm trying to get it. There we go. That's it. Um, Number 399, Lilac Mist. We're getting close. Number 280, Lemon. A very bright lemon. Very bright yellow, should I say. 245 green yellow. And last of the Katona cottons is 249 saffron. I really like this color too. It's very pretty. And then here is the Maxi Sweet Treat. So it looks to be like um what's those um one that you make like the little doilies with as you see it's very very thin and this is in color 162 black coffee so this must be like to do like facial stuff with and then the little bag of the safety eyes that you will need and that is it in the shep g's and i know i'm saying that wrong i just do not know how to say it and now i have said it so much in my head that i cannot undo it like i hear other people say it and i'm like oh that's how you say it but then when i go to say it it's shep g's that's what i call it so i really cannot wait to make some of those i don't know if i will make all of them i'm not going to um like lock myself in i guess i definitely want to make the bull the taurus and i want to make those bunny rabbits because those are cute as bugs um so i think that i'm going to try to do as many as i can and not put any pressure on myself it would be great if i could do one a month and get them all done but again as i say i don't want to put any pressure on myself. I just want to have fun doing it. They're super cute. Um, so again, you know, if you guys are interested and you really like the kit and you want to do the kit as well, um, I will try to find as many links as I can to um, places that still have those in stock that have them at a reasonable price. I mean, because you shouldn't have to pay more than, you know, what it says on the box to pay so um i will do that for you guys and i hope you really liked this kind of video if you did give it a thumbs up and i will know that you liked it 
and you know add sprinkle some more of those in to the podcasts as well so okay so i hope you guys liked it i hope you guys are crafting up a storm and i really really cannot wait to see and hear about all of the stuff that you're doing and let me know down below if you guys have used any of the katona yarn or any of the shep juice yarn i know that they have like all kinds of different ones i've just recently started using the um stone washed and river washed yarns so i would like to know like um some of the things that maybe you've made with it or how you feel about it if you like it or and um or where you buy it from because i know not a lot of places sell it so you know i have my one place stitch naturally that I like to go to to get it so yeah let's just let's share all of this because I'm really liking the Katonas so I'll talk to you guys later and hopefully hopefully next week when um or the next couple weeks whenever my next podcast is I hope I got one of these little guys to show you so fingers crossed Fingers crossed. See you guys later. Bye.